This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Interworld Rapture on the piano. Give you a preview before we start learning, it goes like this. Awesome, let's get right into it. Melody and chords, that's the foundation, and afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your inversion. We'll break up the lesson to four parts so it's easier to learn. Let's learn. Right hand starting on the E flat here, right next to middle C here for reference. Okay, so E flat is where we start. So, starting on that note, we have E flat G, E flat, E flat, D, D, D. That's it for the first part for the right hand. Let's learn it once again so it goes. E flat G, E flat, E flat, D, D, D. That's it for the right hand. Left hand two chords, we have A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat, and second chord is G minor, which is G, B flat, D. With these two chords in mind, so A flat major followed by G minor, the two ends together goes like this. E flat and A flat major together. D and G minor together. Like that. Let's learn it once again, so it goes together, together. That's it. Moving on to the second part, writing continues. It goes G, 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 F, F, E flat, F. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it once again. So it goes G, 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 F, F, E flat, F. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords. We have C minor, which is C flat, G. And second chord is B flat major, which is B flat, D, F. With these two chords in mind, so C minor followed by a B flat major. The two ends together goes like this. So C, the G and C minor together. F and B flat major together. That's it. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together, together. That's it. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. All right, moving on to the third part. Right hand continues. It goes E flat D E flat E flat D D G D. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it once again. So it goes E flat D E flat E flat D. D, G, D. That's it. Left hand, we have the same two chords as the first part, so just A flat major and G minor. With these two chords in mind, two ends together goes like this E flat and A flat major together. D and G minor together. That's it. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together, together. That's it for the third part. Back to back, the three parts of one so far will be played like this. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand goes G, 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 up to B flat, B flat, B flat. That's it for the right hand, so two slow Gs and two fast Gs, and then up to three B flats. That's it for the right hand, left hand, two chords are C minor, which is C, E flat, G, and second chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. So these two chords in mind, so C minor, followed by E flat major, the two ends together goes like this, so G and C minor together. E flat and E flat major together. That's it. Let's learn it once again. So together, together. That's it. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Repeat. Okay, so once you get the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. Left hand, you can just do a simple, like, on a bass, like rhythmic patterns, you can arpeggios as well, etc. But yeah, I will just keep it simple and harmonize the right hand as well because, like, the left hand is kind of doing the main beats, like this. So you can do up hedges if you want, you can like... That kind of thing, okay? But 
like yeah i would just keep it simple and just do like the simple kind of like dun, 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 that kind of octave bass whilst the harmonizing the right hand to make it seem more like the original but yeah hope you enjoy this and that's pretty much it if you like how I teach in this video, how I break everything up step by step, part by part, you will most likely find another song that you'd like to learn by typing in your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the search bar because I have over 10,000 piano videos on YouTube. If you want to go further beyond into learning music theory, playing by ear and improvisation, you can learn from my piano courses on my website bestpianomethod.com linked in my description and bio. There, you will also find my song request services where you can request any song of your choice for me to make into a cover, a lesson, or sheet music. As for now, enjoy the rest of my content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and see you all next time.